Okay, today's question is about working or studying while traveling. So when you're traveling, obviously it's a bit more inconvenient to get some work done, get some studying done. And so what are the alternatives to getting work done in a less ideal environment? So study while traveling. I went to Scotland recently and one of the methods I used to go to Scotland made it ideal for me to get work done on the transportation device, right? So you can pick different things, right? You can travel on a, a bus, a train, you can take an aeroplane. I could have taken either either one of these, right? Aeroplane, they were all options to me. Car wasn't one, right? But it's an option sometimes, right? So for me, I knew I could get a decent amount of work done on a train, right? I specifically asked for like a table seat and I sat my laptop down on the table and I got a decent amount of work done, typed some notes out, typed some video ideas out, got some admin work done and I was able to work at the table on the train, right? It was like a seven, eight, nine hour train, some of these trains from London to Scotland. And so that's something that I can choose to do if I want to get some work done, right? So that's a transportation device, right? Transport. Sorry, I'm drinking some uh, sparkling water now, which is why I'm burping a little bit. So the transport device, right? Transport, or sorry, the transport vehicle is probably a better word for it. The method of transport, right? Pick one that's ideal for you to get work done. A bus, yes, you can technically get work done there. Maybe if it's a coach, it has those like fold down tables. Maybe, but not ideal. I don't really like getting work done on a bus. I always like get a bit like travel sick, the motion of the bus and things like that. So it's not great for me, but you can if you need to on like a coach or something like that. An aeroplane, bit better than a bus, but for me, don't generally like getting work done still because it's just not ideal. You kind of sat in this weird space. It's decent. It's okay. You can get work done, but uh, if it's an option, get the train if you can car obviously if you're driving a car then you can't get work done right which is why i like to pick public transport sometimes because it's a possibility of getting work done and it's not just to sink in time right so if, if i were to drive take my car and drive to scotland that would just be a waste of time just on motorways and things like that i don't really get to look around and see the sights because i'm driving right you don't get to do that and that's something to decide as well like are you going to have fun or are you going to get work done on this journey, right? So you can take the car and you can have a, a nice thing along if you're having a, a road trip with your friends, like a carpool karaoke kind of thing, and you can have fun, right? So d decide for yourself whether the holiday is about having fun or whether it's about, you know, maximizing your time. Like if you, if you're going to go see your friend, but then on the way there, you're on your own and you can get work done, you can get work done, right? That doesn't really take away from the holiday. But if you're just going and just trying to relax, the whole journey is about relaxing, then pick whatever transport you want. So depending on whether it's for fun or for work. But the rest of this video, I'm gonna assume all of you wanna get work done on this trip, on this transportation journey or on holiday in general, right? The first part of which, and the last part of which involves transport, a vehicle, getting there and getting back. How are you gonna get work done during that journey? Because it's a long journey sometimes. Flights to places are that long, you know, seven, eight, nine hours, and sometimes trains to certain places are that long, six, seven, eight hours, and buses as well, and car journeys, things like this. And so it's it's something to navigate as well. And in a car as well, even if someone else is driving, I, I don't necessarily find it the best place to get work done. It's, it's just not great for me. Train is the most ideal. That's what I would recommend if you are asking me what mode of transport would make doing work most ideal. That's transport. The second thing is upon arrival, right, is the location you want to find to get work done. Because yes, you can get work done in like your hotel or your hostel that you're staying at, depending on what kind of traveling you're doing. Yes, and they might have like a, you know, some kind of room or conference room that you can get work done. That's an option, absolutely an option. But so I'll write conference room conference room or like a, a communal area where there's people eating food and things like that so it might be a conference room or a dining hall or something like that where the space exists for you to technically put down a laptop and do some work right 
But it could be a bit distracting because you're at a hotel, you're in a public space and maybe people aren't necessarily going to use the dining room for work. Maybe they're there to socialize. Maybe they're there to just eat food and relax and it might be a bit distracting. These are options though, okay? The rooms that your accommodation offers, right? The other option would be to go to a local... <sighs> See, a lot of people like going to a cafe, right? I just don't understand that. I don't know why you would go to a room where people... Similar thing, right? It's like a dining room. People are there to eat food, drink drinks, and socialize and chat, and there's music in the background, and it's just an environment full of noises and distractions. People making coffee, people like frothing the milk, people like, you know... The, the behind the counter of a coffee shop is just such a bustle of, of environment and in front of it too right i just i for, for me fundamentally i don't understand how you can get worked on the cafe but if that's your jam then go for it i would not recommend it right i wouldn't recommend it at all i've never seen anyone actually get worked on a cafe like they they have their laptop out but they just chat to people and they just like you know do some little bit of like meaningless work if they get any work done at all so that's my that's my two cents on, on cafes what i would actually recommend is actually going to like a, a library or some kind of equivalent right so for us we went to a, a university building i think it was a library or something like that to get work done i was in glasgow at the time and so we just found like a library kind of type building, right, where we got work done. And that's so much better, so much better, more conducive to getting work done. There were, you know, as in libraries in most places where you have a big library, there's like chatty zones and quiet zones and zones where you can have like, you know, plugs to plug in your laptop and computers that you can access as well. So even if you don't have your own device, you can log on to whatever system they have and access the internet that way. And it's very conducive to getting work done. So what I would do is do some research before you go to see what libraries there are and maybe even phone them up if you're allowed access to it. So maybe because of this, uh, so maybe some unis don't allow um, guests or strangers to access their library. Maybe some libraries are, you know, for like card holders or something, or maybe only if you live in the area or whatever. Phone them up, ask them if you're allowed to and just to make sure and even if you just decide to spontaneously go, you can just go to the front desk and ask if you're allowed in and see if you can get past the gate. Or if it's just open to, to the public, then you can just go and just do some work, right? So that's my bit of advice. Find a library to just go do some work in. And if you're in a remote area, you can't get access to a library and things like that, then it does become a bit more difficult. And I would fall back on some of these previous options, right? So a conference room or a dining room. Most places that our accommodations have some kind of dining room right i can't really imagine or remember a place that i stayed at that doesn't have a dining room or some place like that right so if it really doesn't have a dining room or a conference room then you might have to fall back on a cafe find some corner somewhere or even a pub if you're gonna if you're if you have to go if your options are limited that much that a cafe is an option maybe even a pub is an option right I've seen someone even get work done in a pub with a pint of beer. I don't know how, but he was there and it was surprising because I hadn't seen that in about 10 years uh, of my, my time in cafes and pubs. But uh, yeah, that's something that you need to consider as well if, if, if that's the option that's available, right? I wouldn't if, it, uh, if you can possibly choose otherwise, but if that's your only option, then that's your only option. The main thing is what you need in that environment, right? So whether it is the library or the pub or the cafe, I guess the way you would make the pub or the cafe work would be with like earphones or like ear, what are they called? Headphones, right? Noise cancelling headphones, things like that. You need a way to kind of create the conditions of work. Conditions. Because that's what makes work really doable when you're at home, right? You know, I'm, I'm at home right now. There's no one making noise around me. There's no one like, you know, walking through my room, for example, the curtains are closed. I can control the environment perfectly for the task that I'm doing now, right? And so the task that I, some other tasks that I might do, like writing, might involve just a bit of quiet, just some like, you know, peace, so I can write in that way. So 
to control that in other environments. So maybe let's say that the, the library isn't as quiet as you want it to be. The cafe isn't as quiet as you want it to be. Get some earphones or headphones, whatever you need to do. I've never had noise cancelling headphones, so I don't know how effective they are, but I hear they're pretty good for studying. So get some of those if you need to and try to create that environment, right? So don't be too, even like every level of comfort, right? So there's noise, right? So this comes under the umbrella of noise. There's even like temperature. So if it's cold, too cold or too hot can be uncomfortable. So bring a jumper or like, you know, bring some water and some food and things like that. And that's about it. The noise level, and that's, yeah, that's about it, I think. The distractions are just part of the, yeah, I guess you can write down distractions, right? Conditions. So noise, whether it's cold or hot, and just the level of distractions in general. Distractions. And that's it, right? Distractions might include things like, so if I had to study in a cafe, I might find a table where I can be by myself and no one can sit there and say, oh, can I sit here? I can find like a, a small table so that no one can sit on it at all. And I would like make it clear that I want to be on my own. So put my earphones in, put my kind of like stuff down everywhere on that table. So it's, it's just no space for anyone else to come in there. And I would find a secluded area of the cafe, maybe in the corner, maybe somewhere that's like a bit further away from the counter so it's like less noise and depending on how big the space is i can find some space to do work there as well i'm thinking of some other places as well so library is a place there are certain bookshops that will have tables as well so in the uk we have shops called um well bookshops and one of those shops is called waterstones waterstones and you can most times get a space you can just sit down and you know get some work done or read a book something like that and that's a decent space for that but other than that that's about it right so when you're traveling before you do it just think about how you're going to travel right so the transportation a train is the best i love working on a train it's fun it's fantastic and depending on whether you want to have fun or do some work like even on the train it's quite sociable Right, I was on a very, very long train back from Scotland, the same train I was talking about, and on the train back, I got some work done for the first few hours, but then I get bored, and then, like, the the final for the, was it Euros? I think it was the Euros. The final for the Euros was happening, and I caught someone watching on their laptop and had, to, had a chat with them, and I chatted with a bunch of people around there as well, and it just, yeah, it was nice, and that was something I decided to do, so yeah. Train's great for that. Train's for great for social, fun, work, anything like that. Bus, car, plane, I'd rather not do work in those places. Second thing, the places you get to when you are actually at the location. The hotel or the hostel can have a conference room or a dining room, you can get work done there. If that's not an option, then you can go to a pub or a cafe. I don't like that, but you can have options to kind of mediate those difficulties. The library is an ideal location. Always, always a good place to get work done. There's bookshops as well, such as Waterstones. And to mediate those conditions that are pretty poor in the pub or the cafe, you can have earphones to kind of get rid of that uh, difficulty of noise of being a distraction. Make sure that you're not too hot, not too cold. Just make it a comfortable environment and then get rid of any distractions that are there after that. Right? So that's all. That's everything. So the question was, how do I get work done when I am traveling? And that's how you do that. Those three things mainly is what I think about when I'm traveling. Best to plan things out, best to kind of figure things out before you get to the place, because then if you don't know what to do, you're kind of twiddling your thumbs a bit and you don't know what's going to go on. So plan things out, call people up and see what's available and even plan whether you will have the ability to study and do work or not. Right, That could be part of your itinerary for your holiday right so that being said thank you for submitting all these questions i hope you can get some value out of this this is a very interesting question i like answering these kind of things because it, it genuinely does happen in real life and in, in particular in my life as well 
So thank you for asking these questions. And yeah, that's about it. Take care, goodbye, knowledge is power, and the power is yours. Nice.